mga kababayan, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tonji. If you watched Binibining Pilipinas USA here on KSCI yesterday, you are all in for a very special treat as the winners and her court join us on today's program. Let's start off with our third and second runner-up. Binibini number 13 is Ariel Uy. She's 18 from Cerritos, California. She took a leap of faith and joined this pageant as an opportunity for personal growth and to give back to her community. For her, a good representative is exemplified in a young woman who is comfortable in her own skin, someone whose confidence may guide and inspire others. Kasama natin si Angelica Concepcion Alberto, Binibining number 17 naman, who placed second runner-up in the recent Binibining Pilipinas USA. Angelica or Jelly is from uh, Stevenson Ranch in California. Her main reason for joining this pageant are to step out of her comfort zone as well, and she also wants to be a well-rounded role model for young women. So ladies, welcome to the show. How are you guys? Doing well, Great. thank you. Okay, so how has it been? This weekend was, I'm sure, very, very nerve-wracking and exciting. Uh, Ariel, talk to me about this experience. How has it been for you? It's just definitely a blessing for all of us, especially us top five. It's um, It's been a great experience for each of us to be together and to really experience um, finally winning the crown together. And I think that we all just feel so blessed and so honored to have our family and friends support us the entire time. Okay, uh, before we started our show, I asked uh, Jelly what her nickname was because you know, as Filipinos, we all have nicknames. And she told me, Angelica, that your nickname is Jelly. What are your other nicknames? Angel. Most of my friends call me Jelly, as you've mentioned, uh -huh. but my family likes to call me Angel. Angel. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Angel, talk to me about this past weekend. Was it nerve-wracking? Was it exciting? Was it everything combined? I mean, how would you describe it? It has honestly just been such a mix of different emotions, like you mentioned. Like, it's it's been, for the most part, so humbling. But the fact that we got to experience all of these different, unbelievable you know, once in a lifetime opportunities together, I think that's a blessing overall. Right. And now that we have titles together, it's just amazing that we can finally just enjoy you know, the road together. Okay, well, as we know, the Filipinos love, 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 love beauty pageants. Why do you think there's such a fascination for it? Ariel. Oh, well, I think beauty pageants are more than obviously the outside beauty. Beauty pageants are definitely a lot of work because you have to work on both your inner confidence and how you can hold yourself up and present yourself to the world. And I think all of us, all of us 20 contestants really did our part in um, building up our self-confidence and learning to have, um, to build our self-esteem and be able to be good Filipino Americans in our community. Yes, that is the thing, being Filipina Americans. I love these photos. Wow, I heard <laughs> that the national costumes were amazing this year like breathtaking um, what was your favorite part of the pageant jelly my favorite part of the pageant probably had to be our dance number for the swimsuit section just because every time all of us get together we just have such a fun time doing it and it was to fun by pitbull and I'm sure <laughs> that it was everybody's favorite yeah. portion too. <laughs> what can we say? Yeah. What about you, Ariel? What was your favorite part of the entire pageant? I think with the entire Road to the Crown experience, I think the best part of it was really just being able to spend time with the ni my 19 other pageant sisters because each of us have um, different personalities and we bring different aspects to the table, but I definitely think that all 20 of us are capable, talented, ambitious young women, and I'm so blessed to be able to have the opportunity to spend these past couple of months with them. Okay, you know, a good friend of mine once said that pageants or beauty pageants are like the Super Bowl for gay people. Have you heard this before? <laughs> no, I've never heard okay, of that. Okay, my good friend before. Michael Karandang has told me this because it's true, you know, everybody's like sort of watching and they never miss an opportunity to watch. So I have to say, I'm also one of those fans. It's like the Super Bowl for me, right? Um, so I prepared a little question and answer portion kababayan today style. So I'm going to ask Ariel to pick one out, read it Ooh, to us. Okay. And it's a surprise question. I know the pageant is over, 
but this is, you know, just for us Kababayan Today viewers. Please read your questions. My question is, what makes the Filipino American substantially different from Filipinos that grew up in the Philippines? Okay, so what do you think? Well, what I think I love about being Filipino American is that I have so opportunities being able to grow up here in America. However, I think we still stay true to our roots. Our parents raise us still um, knowing our Filipino culture and making sure that they stress the importance of our Filipino culture as we're growing up, yet we're still able to take so many opportunities to better ourselves as Americans here in our country. Wow, beauty queen <laughs> Wow! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I really am a fan. My favorite portion of all beauty queens is the question and answer portion because I love meeting beautiful women who are smart too. Because sometimes when uh, a person is beautiful, they have to work harder at showing people that they actually have something between their 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 ears, yes. you know, because they people think, ay, maganda lang yan, she, she doesn't have anything between her ears. But to me, I feel that a woman is so much more substantial when she's smart and eloquent. And obviously, all of you have proven this. Okay, so we have, uh, we have a couple more questions, but unfortunately, we've run out of time. So why don't you pick one? and answer it in one sentence. One I know that, sentence. that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, what's your question? In what ways can modern sensibilities of culture, like hip hop, teach our community about ourselves? Hmm. One, one sentence <laughs> answer. How can the Filipino community learn from cultures such as hip hop? Our Filipino community can learn various, well, through hip hop, there's a tendency for artists to talk about their hardships mm -hmm. and being in a Filipino community we can sort of relate to these experiences and just think how it could be relevant and learn. Yes, learn from other people's yes. hardships. All right. Thank you so much, ladies, for answering my questions and being here. Congratulations once again to Aming Pagbabalek. Get to meet Megan Lago Culp. We'll be right back. She's this year's Binibining Pilipinas USA Tourism.